Welcome to the week ahead for week four. This is the week in which it's time to finish that assignment. So on our things to do list, obviously pick up the on-demand lectures this week. We're in product, we're in value offer, we're in the thing that you're going to be about to live for real for 10 weeks or so. So the idea of this week's on-demand content is really going to hone in on co-creation, value proposition, and refreshing you on what it is you're going to do in terms of creating value for your own audience. We've had 10 people have a possible 60 vote for the um, resolution of what to do with the week 9 public holiday. So thank you to those 10. For the other 50 or so people, get in there and vote. Get in there and give your opinion because whatever the majority vote is, is how we're going to handle that week because this is a co-created course. And if the majority vote is that at this point in time, it turns out to be, ah, cancel all the classes. Don't look sad at me if you show up and nothing's on. If you didn't vote and you didn't put your position forward, then you didn't get a say. You chose not to have a say in something that I'm inviting you to give your opinion and give your direction on. Obviously, finish the assignment. The due date has moved. We have moved from the Friday night to the mon following Monday morning. So Monday morning, 10 a.m., week five, that's your drop dead deadline. Please hit that deadline and please understand that if you miss that deadline, you go to the back of the marking queue and I can't guarantee that you're going to get your stuff marked in a fast enough turnaround time to have feedback and have opportunity to go for the resubmission. My plan as of five minutes past 10 on Monday morning is to stack a lot of Pepsi Max on the desk beside me and mark as fast and hard as I can to get through as many of these pieces as is possible in that week. So I'm going, I've taken two days off my marking uh, schedule because I was going to have the weekend to, to work with. You now get the weekend to write, which means that I've got a very busy week five in front of me as I try and chase down, getting everything marked, giving you feedback, and your feedback will be annotations in the text, so quick marks on the text, and a voice message, or, and if, I can't explain it in three minutes what I need to give you in terms of advice, you'll get a write up. So you're either going to get a voice message or a written feedback on the sidebar, but you are going to have feedback. So when you get your assignments back and you open them up, if you don't see quick marks, comments, or an audio thing, let me know something went wrong. So you are guaranteed feedback. To support you this week, week four, Monday's consultation time is practically sold out. Uh, there's like 15 minutes left in it for a variety of reasons and complications. But Tuesday, 6 to 8 p.m., that is available. And I'm opening up two giant brackets of consultation times to make myself available this week, Thursday, between 12 and 9.30. There are consultation times available for booking. Friday from 12 to 6 p.m., there are consulta consultation times available for booking. You book the consults through the link on Wattle. No booking. The system doesn't know to create a Teams meeting for you, so I can't catch up with you. Uh, it will be over Teams. You will get a... You make a booking, you get a calendar invite. It will give you a Teams link, and it will set a automatically assign itself into my calendar. So I've set aside this time this week to support you as you are going into the final phase as you're going into the, I'm going to have it written up and ready to submit over that weekend. The last date of submission, the deadline is the 10 a.m. Monday morning. You can submit earlier if you're done before that deadline. What we're going to be covering in the content this week, this is not a skippable week. <laughs> we're talking about value offer. A chunk of your essay, I, the first section, is about what is the product you're going to use and what's the value proposition that you're creating from it? To give you an example, I am using YouTube. 
YouTube is a video hosting platform that has a target audience of influencers, uh, sports, music, and it has a target audience of people who want to watch content. It has a target audience of people who create content. I am using the content creation, content hosting. I'm using the ability to share content to a third party website and I'm creating value for myself by hosting the week ahead videos on YouTube and sharing them to the Waddle Forum. That's the platform I'm using, the product of theirs that I'm using is in fact the thing that's of most value to me is the ability to share into another a third party site. So the little button that says share, share this content, that's the most useful thing on the site to me. The video hosting I can get in other places. The sharing I get there. We're also in terms of talking about this we're going to have a couple of opportunities in the seminar to workshop again help you around the goals making certain that you are doing something you want to do for the next period of this project and perhaps creating something that you want to carry on beyond the project. I have a number of people who started an assignment last year and still are running their projects. They're still doing their Twitch streams. They're selling their products over Instagram. They're running their Depop stores. There's a whole lot of ways in which we can make this really beneficial for you. If you're wanting a very transactional goal of, I just want to get a good grade, well, to get that good grade, you need to be doing something you're prepared to work on. And so it's all about you. It's about your goals. What do you want to achieve? What's your outcome? The things to attend. We've got the seminar on the Monday night, the Tuesday night. For those of you who are, well, Canberra, you're in lockdown. Uh, it's all virtual. If you haven't signed up because you were doing other things or there was a face-to-face -face thing on and you're now free this week, the, sign, the seminar sign-ups are up in week 00 if you haven't signed up and signed in before. Uh, you do need to sign in so that the system knows to expect you so you can be part of what we're doing on participation and engagement is the system is letting me know who was at the class each night, so that makes it a lot easier for tracking down, hey, you did really well that night, you were really engaged, I can go back and look at week whatever and check your engagement score. So we use that, it's not about merely showing up, that doesn't matter, it's about being involved when you're there. Also, Alex has told me that this Thursday is going to be pretty special in the tutorials, so get ready for it, get hyped for it. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be an online tutorial. We're back to doing it the old school, the 2020 edition. Alex is going to show you, Alex is going to go and put on a show. It's going to be amazing. So get involved, get in it, be there. Lastly, want to quickly recap to you, your engagement opportunities. A whole lot of you are putting those 20 marks as a side and going, well, I was never going to score them. If you don't engage, you're never going to score them. So the recap Padlet this week, there was no, apparently everything was clear. So that's awesome for me. Good, good run me. I, I gained bonus points. No one had points of clarification they needed. So no points of clarification video coming out. Thank you to the teams who are making use of the Padlets. Good to have you on board. You are doing, you're scoring up points. You're helping guide the subject as well because your feedback is a feedback loop into our next week. Forum posts. Pleased to see a bunch of people out there getting involved. Remember, you can talk to each other. It's okay to reply to someone else's post. It's okay, more than okay. It's part of the process. This, the forum is basically a training ground to find your technique that will serve you well on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, on anywhere where text is a reply option. And that includes email. So get in there, get involved. And so last thing to say is for those of you who are scoring points and you're starting to get a bit of a breakaway, just going to remind you, when we hit week six, I'm going to do an evaluation of how well people have been performing. If you get that evaluation and you get the areas of improvement, areas of improvement, areas of improvement, you've made a choice. Now, we're going to keep hyping you up, keep telling you to get involved, keep telling you to do this. 
But if you are selecting not to engage, and you are selecting not to participate, and you are selecting out, you're opting out, we will respect that when it comes to Mark's allocation. We will go, you didn't want any of these 20 points. You don't get any of these 20 points. There's no base number that you will achieve by simply being enrolled in the subject. So if you think, oh yeah, I can just fail it and get eight points, no. Participation failure is nothing occurred, zero marks. So if you ain't present in one of our mechanisms, you haven't been part of the subject, you haven't participated, you haven't been engaged, you don't get any of those points. And the flip side is if you are in there, and you are putting the yards in and you are backing up your friends and you're being part of the process. Whether And there are five ways you can be part of this process. If you're there, those 20 points, there's not one 20 mark allocation available. There's 20 marks for the people who are good at the participation. There is 20 marks payment for the people who get the job done. So I don't have a cap on the number of people who can walk away with the top score, nor do I have a minimum of how many, oh, you were enrolled, you get points. That's not how it's going to go. So if you're the top of the pack, you're getting there, you're doing it, you're part of it, you're going to score, you're going to score points. And also, it makes the course a heck of a lot better. I mean, let, let's be blunt about this. We could be doing this course just as me sitting static, uh, telling you the lectures over the Zoom, and you doing a bunch of Q&A quizzes and pretty dry, dull, and boring. We had that choice and we chose not to because we wanted to give you a place where you had the chance to be part of it. You created the content. So for those of you who are still waiting for that permission to be granted to you, you're still nervous about it, your mates need you. For this to work, for this participation and engagement to work, your mates need you. They need you in there commenting. They need you in there on the Padlet reflecting and reviewing. They need you switching your cameras on in the seminar breakout rooms and talking to each other. They need you using your voice. They need to hear from you. So if you're shutting up, sitting in the back and letting everyone else do the heavy lifting, you're letting your crew down. I don't want to, I don't want to leave you behind. I don't want to put you in a situation where you're dropping back and you're not giving yourself the best chance. So get in there, people. And that's going to be it. I'm not, I'm going to keep leaning on you because it's important. I'm going to keep leaning on you because I want you to get this experience. I want you to be good at what you do. And being able to snap back fast responses, quick posts in the forum, being able to summate the week and go, oh, okay, this is what I need to know more about. This is what was good. This is what was uh, interesting. I need all these elements for you to gain those skills. I need you to be practicing them. They're not innate behaviors. They're learnt. They're taught. They are things that you can develop. So if you're sitting there at the moment going, oh, I don't really think I've got anything I could contribute, start contributing because your voice, your perspective, you are an important facet to this course and I want to hear from you. So the very final thing to say is the reason why I have asked for the ETA to be as it is and I've set up a subject assessment task that asks you to put yourself forward is that from Monday, uh, from 10 a.m. Monday onwards, you have a project that you are working on, you have an experience that is novel to you that I need you to share with us. I need you to share with the course. Don't hoard that information because information is valuable when it's shared. You gain by sharing that experience with the others. So, apart from that, apart from that big uh, get in there, get it on, get do it, looking forward, seriously, 5 past 10 Monday morning, uh, you're going to see me quite hyped up on the week 5 video because I really want to see the projects you're on, I want to see what I can do to support you, and I want to make this semester absolutely legendary. It's been a rough start. It has been a very rough start, but that's the thing. Rough starts are version 1.0s. We can kick you into version 1.1, version 2, version 2.1. Get those update patches happening. Get those assignments written. Get that stuff in there. Get on it because this is the internet. This is e-marketing, and 
your first shot's not your final shot. You've always got a chance to iterate, come back and go again. So good luck, mates. See you at the seminars.